Hello, this is Crafty Crafty, and today we are playing another episode of Great Tech New Horizons Season 2. And today we are going to do something interesting. We are going to finish this reactor. This behemoth right next to behind me. And for that actually we need some uh, not much. We need to fill this uh, fill inside of it. We need to automate the stuff here uh, with redstone and we need some failsafe uh, protocols for this, this or this to not explode. Yeah, that's an important part. Yeah, really important. And the usual way of doing these are generally redstone. Uh, some redstone uh, circuitry. But as you can see from our general roadmap, and if you are familiar with this channel, I usually tend to do some t things a bit differently than the meta itself. Yeah, and actually, this might be also meta, but I. Well, I would like to enjoy doing this by myself. What I'm talking about, some keen uh, eyes uh, about, around you, about uh, between you, uh, might realize something, uh, might realize some facts. First, I'm a nerd. Uh, it's obvious, they're playing GTNH. Second, I am a Linux user. Third, in my day job, I'm a software developer. And on the hobbyist side, I also enjoy uh, electronic programming. Yeah, all those combined, I think the best option for uh, us is the open computers. It is one of my favorite mods of all time. I think... It, open computers ties that uh, has a tie between Railcraft, Great Tech, Open Computers, and Botania Quadro. I think it's the right word. Yeah, that's it. We're gonna do open computers, and all I I have to craft a bunch of stuff. First one, the second one. And fourth. And now the fifth. And then the last one for the first uh, batch of the quests. And now we can. Okay. Now we can finally craft the components. This is gonna take a while. This is gonna take a while. So I will do that and. After that, we will show you how Open Computers works. And we crafted everything we required for a computer. Also, I opened the loot bags and get some stuff there. Yeah, also, this redstone I.O. would be extremely useful for us because we are going to use that guy a lot. Also, before setting up the computer, I just want to do something. I want to upgrade my tools, and I'm going to use HSSE. I actually wanted to use Terra Steel first, but uh, I decided HSSE is cheaper. And voila, the first upgrade. The fir first we upgraded our wrench, and as you can see, this one with mining speed 6, and this one mining speed of... 128. Yeah, I think this, this is an upgrade. And also a huge amount of durability, but I need to charge. Then let's look at the this guy. And so voila! We get automatic snips. And apparently we got an achievement. And this is the wire cutter equivalent. Yep. And the last one is going to be the screwdriver. 
And it's also super simple. Uh, HV screwdriver, come here. And you're just going to need a... Voila. And now it's come to the point that we have to look at this guy. And power converter, disk drive, a screen. Where is the screen? Yeah, here. And let's plug this guy here for now. And I need my cable thingy. Voila. And let's connect these cables. Those are the open computer's cables. They are both power, signal, and network connection. And place the computer case. It's already connected. It should get it. It should get power and connect the screen. And connect to this drive. And that's just temporary. And keyboard. Keyboard should be adjacent to the monitor. And now what we're going to need is the rest of the components. And you are not Lua BIOS. Yep, you need to be Lua. Come here. And you can come here. Thank you. Now, we need to place the components here. First, hard disk. Second, the CPU. And this CPU supports eight components. I probably need to upgrade the CPU itself. RAMs and the GPU. And if I now turn this on, there is nothing because I don't have any boot media. There is this guy, the OpenOS operating system and uh, yeah it's also has a laser engraver recipe and we can enter this guy here and let's turn this guy on again and yeah it start boots uh, it's starting to boot and if if i do anything now this will be just in this machine but what we are and it's also slow what we're gonna need is install. Yes, I want to install the OpenOS. And it's currently installing the OpenOS to the computer we have. Okay, now it's installed. Now let's press Y and can now take this guy. And it's now using this hard drive. And ls, and ls slash, and we can see the uh, structure itself. We currently have 500, uh, uh, half uh, a megabyte of RAM. That's good. That's good. And let's, for example, connect this guy. Come here, and come here. Red, yellow, and blue. We are uh, learning to count with Crafty Scrafty today. And not count, uh, the colors, sorry. And redstone. Let's help. Yeah. Redstone B. The side is south. And color should be. Okay, 14. 14, 15. Invalid side, okay. 1, invalid side. South, invalid color. Okay, it requires normal colors. Right. And, yep, it outputs. And let's turn you 0. Voila! And, for example, yellow. Okay. 15. You need to be 15. And also do the blue. 
Yep, we can control the rest stone. But that's not the only thing we actually can use. Uh, let's now connect an adapter. And we can now see how Gratic Machines does things with Thinky Magies. You are late. Components. A grape components that screen GT machine okay GT machine and get output voltage get get max stored get stored EU yeah we can read the stored EU gets Steam output owner name yep it gives my name and we can urge electrical inputs, EU capacity, string, string capacity, coordinates, output amperage, steam stored, get name. Okay. We can get a lot of information and sensor information, average electrical inputs, etc. etc. And set. Set work as a lot. Okay. We can, I think, set, uh, let's, is it disabled now? I think it is disabled. Let's put some bolt here and let's put, yep, we disabled the machine. And if I do this, true, it's, <laughs> it works with actually this combination with adapters and redstone we can do a lot of amazing things with this setup what i'm planning to do is first constantly read this guy's electrical uh, uh no not electrical sorry uh, temperature and also general stats like this if i can read i have to read this guy this distilled water amount and yeah also the energy production uh, energy state of this guy i will probably move this entire circuitry to that or that circuitry my i can still be here so yeah, and also control of these guys. Uh, actually, these guys, maybe just state of the turbines. Maybe I will look at, I have to look at them. Uh, but first software will be a simple one. Later, it will get complicated. So let me just do my job and be a software engineer and design something to control this. But we have a small issue that let's just show you and let's look at the count. We have 10 components connected to, the, to this device. Uh, yeah, 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 we have a small problem. Uh, we have a really, 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 really small problem. We need to upgrade the CPU. Actually, actually, I can upgrade today this CPU. Yeah, yeah, I can. And pro I'll probably do. And in this stage of the game, it seems that this is the gameplay. Yeah, that seemed to be current gameplay at the moment. And this entire project took me a bit longer than I expected because it was a busy week for me. It was a really, 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 really busy week for me. And it's done. It's done at the moment. Now, a uh, small update. I designed this structure like this. And everything else is okay. Uh, I connect to uh, the P, P2P pipe. Uh, not pipe. P2P uh, thingy. Now here and here and here. And we still have our thingy majiggy here. I didn't connect the energy, but it's okay. It's an easy thing to do. And 
let's clear. We're gonna add another component to this guy. An internet card. Why? Because we're gonna use an interesting thing. Internet card allows us to use internet in these devices. And you are here and there should be open OS. Oh, PP app. Okay. Let's come here and also add this diskette to this guy. And so we're booting to our system. And let's say install OPPM. Ah. Okay. Apparently you are not the one we need. So let's uh, do this to you and another builder. OPPM. Okay. You are eight. Okay, OPPM. This is what we need. And with OPPM, we're going to do something really interesting. Uh, okay, first things first, what is OPPM? If you are familiar with any Linux thingy... Okay, you are not... Okay, you, are, you should... Okay. Uh, if I install OPPM... Yes, I want to install OPPM. If you are familiar with any Linux environment or any operating system that makes sense, there are package managers. And package managers are how we actually install software, libraries, etc. to our system. And OPPM is a package manager for OpenOS. And OPPM list. If I do this, we are getting different repos for OPPM. And why we are using OPPM? Because I develop my software outside of this environment. Uh, because I have a fully fledged NeoVim uh, environment that I da use daily and I want to develop in that. And yeah. And with that, I also wanted to add a OPPM repo. And if we come here, by the way, I usually do not prefer GitHub. I usually prefer GitLab or GitT. But uh, OPPM is programmed in a such way that it requires uh, it's hard coded for GitHub. Maybe I will fork someday, but I don't think so. Uh, so. What we're going to do is copy this part, crafty crafty slash OC programs, and come here, OPPM register, and paste it. Checking repository, okay. And if I OPPM list and search reactor co controller, it will search for the thingies, but it will sh show us this guy. And it will take a while, it's gonna take a small while. Ah. In the meantime, we also made our small components, and last part, yeah, it is here. Yeah, every component for the reactor itself is ready. And what we are gonna need to do is just place them here. And yeah, software is here. And let's say OPPM install reactor controller. It will take a while. Uh, it will install the software via the internet card. And it's blinking, as you can see. And if you look at it, LSUSR bin. We have a reactor controller here, and if I USR lib, there's a reactor comp controller. Yep. Modules. Yep, the, the software is ready. What we're gonna need to do is now, where did I put that fella? Analyzer, which is this. With analyzer, we can simply do this. Uh, actually, I need to place this guy to the this adapter. 
And with that, yes, we have a bunch of thingies, and I need to determine which one is which. Yes, this is the heat exchanger that we want. Now, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna create a config file. And we, it's edit, etc. Et, et and reactor controller dot Jeff, Jeff yeah. and let's create the controller uh, config file. Now, one last thing to do is, by the way, I connect the power here, and what we're gonna need to do also is connect the redstone, and this and this area is a bit distant. So what we're gonna do is use something interesting, something called wireless redstone and wireless redstone transmitter and i will actually want this to be more and okay your frequency will be well battery central battery okay this is a central battery and we're gonna add this guy here with bundle cable and this guy and you will be okay now this is if we do this okay it's not working why but ah because it's off and if you do this it should be on let's test it yep it's on now okay this is the fail safe one and let's add this and if we are if we're gonna do this we have a config here uh this means top redstone top and those are uh, this and this. And other ones are the addresses of this config. And what we're gonna need for one last time is add the components. Yep, uh, let me just do that. And the components are placed. Only thing left is this guy. And this guy now uh, also i'm gonna need some item filters and depleted thorium okay and insert would be red and okay uh, round robin is uh, self-feed no you don't need to be self-fed -feed. okay race is here <laughs> and apparently this one is different yeah there's something odd with this one. I don't know what, but I don't trust it. So. Now. Uh, since this is okay, and... Okay, everything should be okay now. This is okay. This has program circuit 2 and... It's running and it's doing doing nothing. And those guys should be okay. And uh, do we have okay? I don't think you guys need controllers anymore. Okay. Uh why we are saying they it's not needed because uh also let's place this. Because these guys won't work without any steam production, and this guy, uh, after reactor is down, those guys not going to produce any steam. And what we're gonna do is reactor controller. And apparently, I didn't provide any name. Okay, apparently I, what I need is just say, uh, it was a list, <laughs> I forgot that, and 
A missing field of heat exchanger. Okay. It's probably typo. Heat exchanger. And yep, reactor one is inactive. Uh, the bli I will fix the blinking issue when I start creating a an actual GUI library. And but currently the reactor itself is open. And if I, for example, uh, force run this guy and. Okay, you two, you guys are okay, and core temperature is one. Why core temperature is one? Ah, it is the issue. This is the issue. Okay, now this should fix everything and is inactive and okay. Heat unit is there, and let's temporarily... Actually, for temporary blockage, let's use this. And reactor 1 is active. We put uh, program circuit 2 to here to force uh, this guy to produce su superheated steam. And it should now feed this guy some steam, or I might need to put some pipe here. Okay, uh, apparently the regulator, I misconfigured the regulators, but in this setup I don't think we need regulators much. And let's activate the reactor, and we should start producing some steam. And this one doesn't have any steam yet. Uh, it will build up after this one is around 800 heat units. It will come to that. And after that, those should raving like maniacs. Okay, it start, it start building efficiency and it's going to raw their these guys are 100% and this guy is 100%. It will produce the full amount. And it's currently getting around uh, 1 EVEU. And after those guys rev up to the full speed, it will get much more, much, 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 much more. And... This guy will probably run, uh, in full sets, will run continuously for 8 hours. And yeah, it is full speed and... You are also... Okay, you are get ramping up. You should be ramp up a bit more. Uh, and, at, and at the end, uh, in the end, those guys should produce around, each produce around 4k EU, and uh, yeah, it just needs to rev up, and it's probably getting filled up, yeah, this is our current, current reactor setup, what we're gonna need is now, oh, oh, the cable wasn't enough. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I need to fix the cable. And I'm out of a, a lot of HSSG. Anyway, this is Jeff and have an amazing day.